are assistant professor in the chemical engineering department of LJIT Ahmedabad. In this lecture, I am going to start new topic of the computer aided process synthesis. So let's start. You can see on the screen, chapter name is synthesis of separation trains and topic is marginal vaporate method. Okay. So in this lecture, I am going to explain you marginal vaporator by using one simple example. So you can see on the screen, first we will understand what is the meaning of marginal vaporate method. So according to this method, first point is when the application of heuristics, heuristics is nothing but rules, when the applications of the heuristics complicated for sequencing ordinary distillation column, then it is a preferable to include a method which depends upon the column design and cost estimation. So marginal vaporate method is a nothing but it is a depend on the column design and cost estimation. Okay, means whenever the heuristics complicated, we are going to move for the marginal vaporate method. Okay, second point is the difference in the cost between the separation in the absence of key components and separation in the presence of key components is called marginal annualized cost. In your exam, or in your viva, in your interview, this question can be asked, what is the meaning of marginal annualized cost? So this is the meaning of this, the difference in the cost between the separation in the absence of key components and the separation in the presence of key component is nothing but marginal annualized cost. Okay, this concept is very important in marginal vaporate method. I'm repeating, when we are going to marginal vaporate method, if heuristics rules for the sequencing are complicated means if you are not able to generate the good sequence by using this at that moment you can go for the marginal vaporate method so you can see according to marginal annualized cost a good approximation of mac that is nothing but marginal annualized cost is the marginal vapor which is the minimum sum of column marginal vaporates okay i told you marginal annualized cost it is nothing but the difference between the cost between the separation of the absence of key components and the separation in the presence of the key component that is nothing but MAC and good approximation of such a MAC is the marginal vapor which is the minimum sum of column marginal vaporates. Second point, I will explain you this first point by using one example in next slide but before that you can see second point is vapor rate is good measure of cost because it is a factor in a determining the column diameter as well as reboiler and condenser duties means here we are using vapor rate which is the good measure of the cost okay because it factor in a determining the column di design and reboiler and condenser duties i told you if there are the adverse vapor flow conditions there may be possibility of the flooding weeping dumping like this that's why vapor flow rate is very important in any analysis. Now I will explain you how to use marginal vaporate method. For that purpose, I will consider here one numerical. You can see on the screen, statement is use the marginal vaporate method to determine a sequence for separation of light hydrocarbons. For that purpose, we are having these columns. First one is separation followed by marginal vaporates, separation again marginal vaporates. So first one is A is separated from component B, after that A is separated from component B and C, after that A is separated from the mixture of A, B, C, D, means after that B is separated from C and A, B is separated from C. For all these separations, we are having marginal vaporate. For A, B means separation of A from B, we are having marginal vaporate 0 kilo mole per hour. After that, separation of component A from B, C, we are having marginal vaporate 163 kilo mole per hour. After that, separation of component A from B, C, D, we are having 340 kilo mole per hour. After that, B from C, we are having 0. Similarly, we are having from A, B from C, 231. B from C, D, we are having 227. A, B from C, D, we are having 435. C from D, we are having 0. B, C from D, we are having 385. That is nothing but in kilo mole per hour. After that, A, B, C from D means we are separating component D from mixture of A, B, C, D, 6, 1, 3. So here in this table, we are having separation of the components and marginal vapor rates for all those separation. Now we are going to use all these values. How to use all these values to get best combination of the reactors? To get the best sequence. Now we are going to see. So you can see. For four components, there are five sequences are possible. For four components, there are five sequences are, are possible. I will explain you how to find 
number of sequences for number of components in coming slides. But before that, you can see here for four components, we are having five sequences. So this is the first figure, you can see, okay. This is a second figure, this is third figure, fourth figure and fifth figure, okay. So you should know all these five figures. I told you how to draw in the heuristics lecture, means rules for the sequencing of the distillation column. I told you how to draw all these figures, okay. Now we will see here, this is first sequence. So in first sequence, we are separating component A from B, C, D, followed by in second distillation column, we are separating B from the C, D and C from D. Now here, we have to just put all the values. That is nothing but A is separated from B, C, D. Value for this is nothing but 340 kilomole per hour. You can just check this value in this figure. A is separated from B, C, D. Value is 340. I am just putting here. B is separating from the C, D. That is nothing but 227. You can check here. B is separated from the C, D. That is first value in second column. That is 227. And second one, third one is C. Separation from the D is 0. You can check here. C is separated from D. Value is 0. Now we have to add all these values. You will get 567 kilomole per hour. What is the basic thing about this? You should know all these figures. Means you should know how to draw all these sequences. Okay. All these sequences can be draw by using the heuristics. Okay. Means you are having here four components and for four components there are five sequences possible. So first sequence is like this. And here you have to write marginal vapor rate for the feed stream only. So first feed stream is a slash b c d plus marginal vapor rate for b slash c d plus c slash d so value for a slash b c d is 340 you can observe in a previous slide value all these values for b from c d value is 227 and c from d's value is 0 addition is 567 kilomole per hour similarly i will write for the second figure you can see on the screen second figure is a is separated from the b c d value is 340 after that, BC means we are separating D component from the mixture of BCD, value is 385U and lastly there is a separation of B from the C, value is 0. So addition of all these marginal vapor rates, you will get 725U kilomole per hour, okay. After that you can see third figure, in this figure we are separated four component mixture into the binary mixture. After that first binary mixture that is mixture of component A and B, we are separating this mixture in one distillation column. After that mixture of C and D, we are separated in another distillation column. Here also we are adding the marginal vapor rate for all feed streams. Means for AB slash CD, we are having 435U. This is nothing but marginal vapor rate flow rate. After that A slash B value is 0, C slash D value is 0 is equal to 435U kilomole per hour. After that next figure is this, ABC slash D means component D is separated from the ABC. After that you can see here we are separating D component that is the most difficult component in the first distillation column. After that we are separating component A, component B. Now here we are adding marginal vapor rate of all feed streams. For ABC slash D marginal vapor rate is 613 kilomole per hour. A slash BC marginal vapor rate is 163, after that B slash C marginal vapor rate is 0. Addition of all this marginal vapor rate is nothing but 776 kilomole per hour. This is number 4 figure and last figure is indirect sequence. In indirect sequence, we are separating most difficult component in the first distillation column. Means here we are operating first distillation column at a higher temperature followed by second distillation column and third distillation column means here last distillation column where we are separating component A and B that is operated at minimum temperature and first distillation column is operated at the higher temperature. Here also we are adding all the marginal vapor rates for the feed streams. So marginal vapor rate for the first feed stream that is ABC separated from the component D 613 kilomole per hour plus AB slash C that is nothing but 231 kilomole hour plus A slash B that is nothing but 0. Addition of all these three streams marginal vapor rate is nothing but 844 kilomole per hour. Okay. Now we are having the values for all figures. Now next step is you have to check here minimum value, minimum effective MVR. So here you can check 
effective MVR for first figure is 567, effective MVR for second figure is 725, third, for third one is 435, fourth one is 776, and fourth one is 8, last one is 844 kilomole per hour. So, list value is for the figure C, that is best sequence effective MVR is equal to 435 kilomole per hour. This is a best sequence because effective MVR should be minimum. The figure which is having effective MVR minimum, that figure is a best sequence. So, in this question, this is the best sequence. In this question can be asked for 7 marks where you have to draw all these figures. Means first you have to analyze this problem. After that you have to draw all these figures. After that you have to just add all the effective MVR and you have to check which value is minimum. Okay. I already told you how to draw these figures. Okay. Direct sequence means I am repeating here now. In direct sequence we are separating most easy components means most volatile component in early stages. Okay. In indirect sequencing we are separating most difficult component in early stages. In direct sequence we are separating most volatile component, most simple component in early stages. But in indirect sequences we are separating most difficult component in early stages. After that you can see here first we are separating here in second figure most easiest component means most volatile component after that most difficult component after that remaining components. After that you can see here four component mixture is divided into the binary mixture. Four component mixtures are divided into the binary mixture and both binary mixtures are separated into the another distillation columns. Means A slash B is a separated in minimum temperature distillation column and C slash D is operating at the higher temperature. Okay, because A and B are the more volatile component as compared to C and D. Lastly, you can see here we are separating most difficult component in the first figure. After that, we are separating another components. Lastly, I already explained you what is the meaning of indirect sequence. Here we are separating most difficult components in the early stages. So, this is all about this MVR method. So, in this problem, you have to write first you have to draw all these figures. After that, you have to write marginal vapor rate for all the feed streams. You have to just add up all these feed streams and you have to check which value is minimum. That is your answer. Point is how to calculate number of possible sequences. This question can be asked for three marks in your final examination. Suppose we are having four component mixture. For four component column, for four component number, I, I can use here n minus one number of columns. Means suppose you are having four components, number of distillation columns will be required n minus one that is nothing but three. Means four component mixtures, okay, we, are, we can use three distillation column, but how number but how much possible sequences that can be calculated by this formula you can see on the screen capital N is equal to 2 N minus 1 factorial divided by N factorial in bracket N minus 1 factorial. So, N is nothing but number of components just put here here we are having that value N is equal to 4. So, just put here 4 you will get like this N is equal to 2 in bracket 4 minus 1 factorial divided by 4 factorial in bracket 4 minus 1 factorial n is equal to 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 3 factorial. I can write this 6 factorial in this manner 6 into 5 into 4 factorial okay divided by 4 factorial into 3 factorial. 4 factorial and 4 factorial get cancelled. Finally, we will get like this n is equal to 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 3 factorial after that 3 into 2 into 5 divided by 3 into 2 okay. So, this is nothing but n is equal to 5 and this 5 is nothing but number of possible sequences. So, in this manner you can calculate how much number of possible sequences can be possible in the sequencing of the distillation column. Okay. So, this is all about the number of possible sequences. Only this question can be asked for 3 marks and 7 marks question can be asked based on the detailed question that is marginal vapor rate method where you have to draw all these figures. After that you have to calculate the number of possible sequences in this manner means you have to calculate this as well in the 7 mark question. After that you have to find out the best sequence. I am repeating here best sequence is that sequence which is having effective MVR value is minimum. Okay. So, this is all about this marginal vapor rate method and this is all about this lecture. We will see next topic in the next lecture. Thank you very much.